There are a few common ways that sorting comes up in interviews. These include you being given data that's already sorted, but you needing to understand how to take advantage of the sorted data to solve the problem more efficiently. You being asked to solve a problem where the most efficient solution requires adding a sorting algorithm as an intermediate step. And you needing to implement a sorting function to solve a particular use case or handle data in a specific format. Generally, when we talk about sorting in interviews, we're talking about sorting arrays containing integers or strings. Sorted data has a number of useful properties that make it more efficient to perform other operations. If you're given pre-sorted data, you should take advantage of this to unlock more efficient solutions. Just to give you an idea, here are some examples of problems that benefit from having a sorted input. Finding a particular value. Finding the existence or index of a given value is an O of log n operation in a sorted list or search tree. Finding the minimum or maximum values. Rather than searching over the entire input, finding the k min or max elements within a sorted input becomes a constant time operation. And finding duplicate or missing values. Since similar values are grouped together in sorted lists, it's easy to determine the frequency of each value. Sorting can also pop up in problems with other data structures too, most notably in binary search trees, heaps, and linked lists. Keep in mind that sorting doesn't always come for free. The efficiency of most sorting algorithms is based on the number of comparisons it has to perform between input elements. The most common sorting methods in standard libraries are typically based on quick sort and have a runtime of O of n log n. This is a good benchmark to keep in mind when you're deciding whether sorting will improve the performance of your solution or not. It might be helpful to keep note of the runtimes of common sorting algorithms. So when does it make sense to use a different sorting algorithm than the one in a standard library? Here are a few questions you can ask yourself. Do you need to sort the entire list or just maintain the min or max k elements? If it's the latter, Consider using heap sort to reduce the time and space complexity. Is your data already, partially, or nearly sorted? If your data is already partially sorted, consider using insertion sort, which is more efficient. Do you need to sort in place or create a copy of the original output? Both insertion sort and quick sort can be performed in place, while merge sort cannot. And do you need a stable sort? where sorted elements are retained in the same order. Merge sort and insertion sort are stable, while quick sort is not. To wrap things up, consider this example. You're given a list of recent appointment bookings with beginning and end times. These are expressed as hours from zero to 23. And we want to write a function called find schedule conflicts that will return a list of all unique appointments that are in conflict with each other. A brute force solution could compare every appointment in the list, which would be O of n squared, but it'd be much simpler to solve if our input were sorted. In this case, our data has more than one potential sort key. So we need to write a comparison function that uses the appointment start time. This will arrange our results so that any overlapping appointments will be next to each other in the list. And this allows us to find conflicts in just one pass. This solution sorts the input in O of n log n time. It iterates through the entire array just one time to perform n extra comparisons, which still makes our time complexity O of n log n. In terms of space complexity, we sort our array in place and use a set for a total memory overhead of O of n.